Well, we've installed Alpha It's 13. We've also updated it. And now we're going to take a look at the interface to Fritz 13. If you're familiar with Fritz 12 or any of that generation of playing programs, you might recognize the ribbon interface. This is what this part of the screen is called. It's called the ribbon. It's been a little bit updated. If you're familiar with any of the Microsoft Office programs like Microsoft Word, um, Fritz 12 had very much uh, the ribbon very much similar to the, the Microsoft Office 2007 suite of programs. Well, Fritz 13 has been updated to the standard that was shown in Microsoft Office 2010. So you can see it's just that little bit uh, different. Instead of the application menu, which was a circular icon at the top, the application menu now is back here um, under an old traditional file menu. But you'll see we've actually defaulted. We've gone straight to this Home tab here. So let's have a talk about some of the tabs and the ribbon interface first. First of all, you've got a variety of different commands, different options. And they're, first of all, they're grouped um, by similarity of functions. So here we've got the game game functions, clipboard functions, different level functions, coaching functions, and these are all collected together on the Home tab. If we move through the tabs, like for instance here we've got Insert, you can see more groups of different commands. These are some of the most commonly used commands that you'll use during uh, your use of Fritz 13. You've got the Board tab here, different training options, analysis options, different things to do with the engine, Here's where you change the main engine, uh, engine management and create UCI, and of course the view tab. And we're going to take a, a few moments just to look at this one. One of the things that you should note, you might have noticed already in this video, is that when you move your mouse cursor over one of the icons, a little window pops up, very small there, telling you about what each button does. So that's very useful, just hold it over. You can see it just gives you a bit more information about what the different options are. Uh, and here we have the different uh, windows of the main Fritz 13 screen. We've got notation window here, the engine window here, and the board window. And you can change which windows are viewable uh, um, here at the top in the view menu. Now for instance if you want the clock window to appear you can just check this box next to clock menu and just simply left click in the box and you can see that the clock has popped up right here. There's a few ways if you want to get rid of the, uh, any particular window or that clock window again, we can just uncheck the box. Or if we check it to bring it back, you can also click the red X, which is just here. So if I want to get rid of the notation window as well, I can click the red X. But if I want it to come back, just put a check next to notation. Now you can see in the notation window, there's a few different options. There's the score sheet, life book and opening book. Here you can see I've got the PowerBook 2011 loaded. And I'll show you how to do that how to load an openings book in another video. But if you want the openings book as well as the notation, you can, for instance, choose here, the extra book pane. So now you've got the openings book and the notation as well. And you can close any one of those just by clicking on the red X or unchecking the box. So you can see there's a whole host of different windows you can choose from here. And you can play around and find the layout that you prefer. Now, I'll also show you how to move these windows around. So this window pane here, for instance, the engine pane, you might not want it under the notation. You might say want it on the right-hand side of the notation window. So how do you move that there? Well, it's very simple. You just click and grab and move those around. So if you click with your left mouse button on the top of the window, which on this gray box here, hold your left mouse button down and just move the mouse around. You can see suddenly that the engine window, the engine pane, has now started floating above the screen as I'm moving around. So I'm holding the left mouse button down, moving the mouse around. You can also see these little four-way cursors appearing as I move the mouse around. And I'll explain those now. Um, basically, to move these to one side of the screen, we were talking about moving it to the right-hand side of the notation pane. All you need to do is click and drag that pane over any one of these four different sides of the cursor. Now you can see each time I do this, a little blue area appears. Now that's going to show you where the window, where the pane will actually snap to when you let go. So if we wanted it on the right hand side of the notation window, you move it, you click and drag over the right hand side, you can see the little blue areas arrived here, let go, and the engine pane has snapped to the right hand side. So if we want to move that to a different area, so we want the engine pane under the board, we click and drag, 
move over here to the board window you can see another one of those four-way cursors arrived and just hold it over the bottom one that shows you the blue area obviously the board's very small now we can resize that window by clicking here on that line and just dragging the window down you can see now the engine window is closing, uh, getting smaller and the board window is getting bigger if we move the notation, the uh, engine window back over here we can also move this both windows left and right by clicking and dragging here so you can see you've got a whole host of different ways of resizing and rearranging the screen there's also some standard layouts if you want to click on this button here gives you a few different options if you want the engine pane to be the biggest simply click there or if you want to go to board only you can click here you can see that the ribbons actually disappeared to get that back you just need to right click and uncheck the box for minimize ribbon or you can go into the view menu again go back to the standard layout you could this you can do from any of the layouts by the way you can minim minimize the ribbon that gives you more space for your boards on your screen and also one I really like to do especially if you have board only is this one here which is the the full screen now this is a good one when you hold the mouse over you can see that it to toggle that there's a keyboard shortcut shortcut which is control alt and F that's holding down the three different keys on your keyboard which obviously you can't see me do but I'll, I'll do it now so I'm holding down control alt and the letter F it does tell you warns you to restore the normal view press control alt and F again obviously I've pressed those I've let go click OK and now the board's taken up the entire screen it's really handy if you're playing a game for instance online or something like that you don't need to know the timings of it uh, it really maximizes the potential of your screen so there we go control alt and F to get out of that if we go back to the view tab we can go back to a standard layout if you want to get rid of the clock or one of the other screens just simply click the red X here so there you go take a bit of time find out your favorite layout and uh, play around with those and the different options in all the tabs so that gives you a bit of an idea of the layout of the new Fritz 13.